And we're live. Garrett, it's good to see you. It's been way too long. <laughs> good to see you too. <laughs> so this is fun. We are going to live stream from within the metaverse, the spatial metaverse, by the way, into some of our favorite uh, spaces, rooms, venues. We're going to share a couple of interesting tips. And while people are coming into the live stream, hey, it's good to see everybody. But Garrett, this is also being recorded. I don't know Hello. if you know that. I probably should have told you that. <laughs> and we are broadcasting across Twitter, YouTube, multiple Facebook pages and groups, uh, Amazon Live, LinkedIn. So wherever you are and whatever you're doing, watching this live or recorded, welcome. Welcome to the metaverse. We're looking forward to sharing some of our best new user tips. We're looking forward to answering questions. And we're looking forward to sharing some of our favorite platforms with you while people are coming in, Garrett, I want to just scroll through the spatial uh, homepage, everyone. And that's what you have in front of you. And what spatial does is it allows you to click and enter different metaverses, whether it's your metaverse or someone else's. This is what the spatial homepage looks like, S-P-A-T-I-A-L dot I-O. I happen to know that Garrett is already in the maneuver penthouse so we're going to click on the maneuver penthouse and we have we, some guests as well well that's good you know what Garrett <laughs> life's a party I mean and I know you know that just having rolled out of USC four years at SC in a fraternity mm -hmm. hey everybody life is a party and um the more the better I think in the metaverse and where we are right now is our penthouse venue metaverse put together by Exclusible. We're going to talk more about the uh, metaverses that we recommend. We're going to talk about, let me just do a 360 right here. And uh, for everyone listening, I wish I could turn my mic down. I'm getting some feedback here, but I can't. So I apologize ahead of time. It sounds but good I, now. Okay. I'll talk quietly. But uh, Garrett, um, while I am checking some settings, why don't you wave to everyone? Just come over next to me and stand away so they know who you are. And maybe just briefly introduce yourself. And I'm going to click a couple of tabs and then I'll be back in. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Um, this is our Maneuver Penthouse. This is one of our first exclusive spaces that we've been uh, previewing for people. I'm Really excited to show the space. It's a beautiful venue. And just the overall functionality of the spaces. I mean, you can do anything here. You can host meetings here. You can meet with friends. You can come into our variety of rooms and come watch presentations in here, have a movie night. Well, let's go into the movie theater. Yeah, let's cruise over and, here. And uh, hey, everybody. So this is our movie theater. But Garrett, I'm not going to get away with the introduction I was looking for, everyone, is Garrett's my son, okay? And he has been for 22 years. He's just graduated from the University of Southern California, Marshall School of Business, very prestigious business school. Uh, we co-founded Maneuver uh, back in February. We're a company where we're helping uh, traditional companies transition or maneuver into the metaverse. Um, we work with entrepreneurs and business owners and Web3 creators uh, to show them how to leverage the power of the metaverse and create unique and better brands, new business opportunities, and, and hopefully new revenue streams. I'm also excited to announce that Garrett just accepted a position at VaynerMedia. So Garrett, congratulations on that. Thanks. I'm super excited to start that uh, next month, and I'm looking forward to seeing how I can build out a career with Vayner. <laughs> oh, I think they're lucky to have you, and I'm excited for you to be uh, among that talented team. So listen, let's look uh, behind you is the movie theater. And what's really cool, everyone, is what, one reason we like the penthouse is it allows us to share YouTube videos or import videos, which is what this is. Um, PowerPoint presentations, slide decks, right here on the screen. Wow, when you turn around, sorry everyone, while you turn around, you can sit. Look at that fish tank. Isn't that cool, the fish tank? I you, can sit, you can sit and uh, actually watch the video or do live Q&A with a speaker standing in front. You know what's cool about the spatial platform, Garrett, is... 
you can access or your clients or customers uh, can access this experience using their phones, their tablets, their laptops or their desktops for the best experience. We recommend putting on a compatible headset like an Oculus Quest 2. Mm -hmm. They're less than $300. I mean, it really improves the experience from uh, maybe, you know, by about 95%, I think. It sounds, it feels like we're in the same room. Oh, right? yeah. You know, and uh, so that's what's really cool about the platforms that we're recommending. You can see we have guests in here walking around. And, and Garrett, why don't you lead us out while I check the StreamYard questions in a different tab? Maybe go outside and I'll follow you right out. Yeah, I mean... One of the most beautiful thing about these spaces is the views. <laughs> and especially when you put on the VR headset, it really does feel like you're looking at a beachfront Miami penthouse <laughs> extravaganza and it's beautiful out here. And I think like my favorite thing about these spaces is that all the customization you can do in just that room with the movie theater, I mean, you can have that display anything you want, live, live video, recorded video, pictures, imagery, advertising, anything like that. You know what you can't see from the ground level is our rooftop dance floor, sunken movie theater, mm -hmm. jacuzzi, and bar. I think we need to walk up there real quick. What's yeah. everyone? Yeah, we're getting some, yeah, people want to see the rooftop. So let's, let's follow Garrett. Walk. Let's follow the G man. Hang on a second, everyone, because I'm not on my Oculus Quest. We got to pass and through your master bedroom with your selfie over here. Well, let's wait a minute. Is it in here? Let's take yeah, a look. look. <laughs> How can you not have a selfie in your master bedroom, right? Look at that. <laughs> I love that. So, Garrett, that brings up a question. Mm -hmm. Our avatars. Yes. Uh, what we're doing is when you come into a space like this, everyone, there are multiple ways. Well, look at this rooftop. Look at this rooftop. Look at the view, everyone. There are multiple ways to uh, create avatars. You can select a default avatar with a couple of clicks. You can pick an avatar that allows you to bust out dance moves like uh, my talented 22-year-old son and entrepreneur. Or you can pick avatars that are a combination of your face using your webcam, uploading a photograph uh, hey guys. that AI then stitches onto your avatar can body, you whatever you want to do. And uh, really, the sky's the limit. So let's walk over. I want to take can a look at the yes. jacuzzi quickly. Brilliant. You can actually, as a matter of fact, Garrett, why don't you hop in the like jacuzzi? The the yeah, I'm feeling a little tense here. lately. Pretty so cool. I'm going to yeah, put a few minutes. Well. And if he rotates, he'll rotate towards me, I believe. There you <laughs> go. So now we're looking at Garrett. That's pretty cool. If we like rotate over, we can actually go over to cool. Avatar. the upstairs How's game, mate? You're sunken on mute. movie theater, everyone. And once again, can you, say something, Travis? you can screen share Hello. videos from your hard drive. Oh, can you can you import videos. This is a video well. that I actually imported. We can play music while we're here in the space. Right, we turn the music explain. down just so that you'd be able to hear what we're saying more Pretty clearly. Nice. But, uh, you know, the sky's the limit with these types of spaces. And what Gary and I have been doing is meeting uh, clients, potential clients in our more formal conference room, which we're going to wrap up in. We're going to finish in one of our conference Very rooms. Nice but after we take care of business, can you, hear me, we, guys? you know, let them know yeah, you want to bounce you. over to the penthouse and just they, chill for a few minutes. And then Norman area. will have uh, oh, maybe one of their marketing videos crazy. up. And uh, they know that we're thinking of them. We pop in, they're blown Whoa, away. The we knock their socks off with the graphics and everything else. Oh, so cool. And uh, so it really complements everyday business in a way that Garrett Zooms <laughs> just don't allow you to do. No, it just adds a certain level of personalization and interactive experience. And of course, you can see people's videos on Zoom and you see their face, but it's a different atmosphere when you not only see their face but you see their movements their personality comes to life in the vr aspect and it just adds so many different avenues for interaction i mean if i wanted to bust a dance move I could what's join. holding me back right so you can have fun with these things and um they're really easy to use i this is as easy to use as a zoom uh and if you put on a headset it gets really super easy to use but one of the things we wanted to talk about is how how fast and easy it is to use pictures and, and videos to help complement the spaces, whether it's a template turnkey space, whether it's a 
a customized space that you have uh, one of the third parties that we highly recommend and use uh, build out for you or your practice or your company. And by the way, Garrett, I'm going to give a shout out to some of the companies that uh, we've already Please. partnered with and are all in the process of partnering with just because we're blown away by the technology, uh, by the people behind these companies. And we're talking about global, global consulting relationships, everyone. So M2 Studio is the company along with uh, Exclusible that put together this penthouse. We highly recommend and have contacts with these companies to help make sure your needs are taken care of. We also highly recommend Polycount, that's polycount.io, and then Journey, J-O-U-R-N-E-E, -E, wonderful companies that put together just beautiful properties that you can be proud of that they make, it makes that good first impression. For example, speaking of good first impressions, Garrett, we love the French Riviera, do we not? Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. And I think maybe this would be a good time to invite our guests, both live and recorded, not only to ask questions, which we'll be monitoring and, and answering, but maybe we should invite them to portal to the French Riviera with us. Describe real quick, what's, what's this portal and how can we use them, Garrett? Yeah, what's so cool about the portals is that we have the functionality to place them wherever we want. And on top of that, it becomes just this quick, easy access to bring everyone to a new location together. So if we want to go over to our friend Triviera, all we have to do is go over here, click our portal, and hit travel to, and it'll take us straight there. Let's give it a try. I just love the convenience of spatial. It makes everything so compact and easy. It allows us to focus on the business that we enjoy doing and not on all the other uh, uh, aspects of having to create and manage and control the metaverse. This exactly. is just It takes the complicated cool. aspect out of it. You said it better than I could. I got to take a look at this view real quick. <laughs> look at this view, everyone. And with the ledge there. So if you haven't been to the French Riviera, this is exactly, well, I live dangerously. This is exactly what it looks like. And we are poolside at one of the resorts. And this is one of the properties that M2 Studio and Exclusible uh, has worked with us to have, to use, to host poolside parties, to host uh, impromptu uh, roundtable conferences, get-togethers in the evening. It's just a beautiful space that offers so many, so many features. In fact, in this particular space, there are two things that Garrett and I set up that we wanted to share with everyone. And Garrett, the first are QR codes and hyperlinks. And the second thing are live captions and translations. I think we have some QR codes set up yeah. down at the far end of the walkway, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so let's, so let's, let's follow Garrett. And over here. <clears throat> and a little tip, everyone, when we're not in here presenting, we usually have music running in the background. Uh, I think it makes a difference. And what we do to pipe in music is we bring in a video and uh, we shrink it in size and the video has music on it. And then we hit autoplay and then replay in the background. And it just seems to work. For example, on this video screen, I have it muted. Let me show you what it sounds like if I unmute it. We'll see if it works. Yep. So it's really easy to mute, to unmute, to do all different types of things. I just wanted to show everyone in real time how easy it is. I see a QR code in front of us, Garrett. What's that all about? Yeah. Um, so one of the cool things about this space is obviously we have the portals to the left, which we already covered a little bit, but something else you can uh, import are QR codes. And so these are fun because on top of it already being a QR code that we all know and love and you can scan and it'll take you straight to wherever it's linked to, we can also hyperlink it so that people on different platforms have different options. So one, you can come up, bring out your phone, take a quick picture or scan, and it'll either take you to our conference rooms, it'll take you to our website, anything that you know we want it to. And then if you click on the link instead, you can also just go directly to it. What happens is, and by the way, tra oh, excuse me, sorry everyone, that's a real life phone call. 
in the metaverse <laughs> world. Uh, and Garrett, that was from the boss, and I'll just leave it at that. So Travis is trying, a friend of ours is trying to join us through Spatial. Oh. You're more than welcome to join us if you'd like to. Can mm -hmm. you hear me, Garrett? Yeah. And, uh, but Travis, you know, you're going to have to find the locations that we are in. If you go to the homepage, everyone on Spatial, and you want to play in the Metaverse Sandbox right now, go to the main Spatial Explorer page and you'll see our penthouse suite. It's the Maneuver Penthouse or the Maneuver uh, French Riviera properties prominently listed in the main Explorer page. Just click on those to join us. If you can only find one, work your way through that particular space and you'll see a portal that'll take you, for example, to the French Riviera or to our, Sw our Swiss ski chalet, which will be coming up next. Uh, I'm standing in front of the scan me, Garrett. And when mm -hmm. I click the link, I'm not going to go there, but I want to show people what it looks like. Yep. What happens is you're, you know, there's a box that pops up that gives someone the option to go to however you code it. All that we did is just type in a link and it can take us to the maneuver link tree homepage. This could go to a contact form. It could go to a video for your company, whatever you want to do. So it's a great way to just build an interactive experience. Yeah, I think just a quick heads up as well. If anyone does want to join us in the space, we have the localized audio turned off for us so that we could cover everything. But you're more than welcome to come experience it firsthand, click through with us and just follow us along. I'm glad you brought that up because I don't want anyone to think we're ignoring, ignoring them. them. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so what we're doing is to avoid echo and everything else. Um, what's cool about these spaces is as a host, and I'm going to bring up my host screen so people can see, you're going to see over on the right, all of these different settings. And I can select if I wanted to, um, what kind of audio we're using. I can have captions. Uh, being transcribed in real time. So as Garrett's speaking, you can see what he's saying in mm -hmm. caption form underneath underneath or above his avatar. You'll see the host tools allow me to restrict what other people can do. I can uh, bring all users to me. I can set other hosts. I can mute everyone in the space. So if I click bring all users to me, which yeah, is what I just did, function. look so what just awesome. happened. So regardless of where everyone's located, and what happens in these spaces is if you're having a meeting, let's say you're having a four in the afternoon meeting, people will come in, they'll start exploring your metaverse space. And they'll be all over the place, which is cool, right? They're figuring out their avatars or exploring all the different spots around this, you know, this particular venue. You can click over to the dome on the other side of the water. I can click over next to the cabanas which is where I am now, Garrett, on the other side of yep. the uh, pool. But the point is, is if I wanted to bring everybody here and we did not promote today's event, okay? People are just randomly coming in. I can click host tools. I can come down, bring users to me. And it brings, you know, everyone in the space over to me. So it's super easy. What do you say, Garrett, we head back over to the portals? Yep. And, uh, I'm thinking like doing a little snowboarding and skiing. What do you think? I think it is against the summer season, but I think we should check it out. I need to cool right. off. Let's do it. So the <laughs> portals are a great way, once again, to bring your guests from one experience to another, depending on you know what you're doing, right? And this is the inside of our uh, ski chalet. Once again, we normally have uh, music playing in the background, but we've muted it. And as you can see, if we walk over by the fireplace, I'm going to do a 360 Garrett and just show everyone what this looks like. And you can see how beautiful the ski lodge is. I think this is one of my favorite spots just because I love to snow ski. I will say if you saw who was with us in the French Riviera, he is also with us in the ski chalet. So it shows how quick and easy those portals are. He Absolutely. Over before us. Absolutely. Let's go into the um, into the into the downstairs uh, movie theater. Yeah. Show everyone what this looks like. So we have a downstairs theater. Whoops. And once again, this is a video that we created last week just to kind of give everyone an idea of the different spaces. That's our conference room for our law firm, Jackson & Wilson. Travis joined us. Very yeah. good, Travis. 
I love it when people kind of roll the dice and, and just experience these things in real time. Travis, I'm going to bring you into this space. So I just brought everybody in. I think he's still loading. Okay. And um, so you want to think about different ways of using the theaters, different ways of bringing people together, different ways of putting up your own artwork, your logos. Um, remember I mentioned earlier that we have music playing in the background? I want to show everyone what I've got going on here. And what I mean by that is what we did is we brought in some music, some licensed music that we have permission to use in the form of a video. And we hit it behind the couch. I just want people to see how this works. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Okay. And so if I play the video. Depend and I think I have it muted. You should be able to hear it. And so you bring your videos in. You position them someplace small. I put it behind the couch, I hit the lock button, and now it's there once and for all. What do you say, Garrett, we head upstairs? Yeah, let's check it out. Shall we go upstairs? All right. Mm -hmm. There's Travis, hello. So Travis, you are on mute, but definitely uh, hang out with us. Clicking around, exploring. And you when you're on- cart. This is our uh, upstairs office. This is a photo, everyone, that uh, I took overlooking Dana Point Harbor just, Harbor just before a rainstorm. I thought it'd be kind of nice to have it in the uh, ski chalet. It's good to see you, Garrett. So let's go outside. When you're, if you're a gamer and you're comfortable with the uh, the keystrokes, it's a lot smoother than the than the uh, result that I'm sharing with everyone. But I'm going to stand on the table real quick. I want everyone to be able to see. Yeah, you can see there's different options for how to move. You can either click and teleport if you're getting stuck, or you can use WASD or the arrow keys. Stand right there. Right there, Garrett. I'm going to take a picture. I can click a button. I can take a photo. Hang on a second. And I just took a picture of Garrett with the sun Jeez. setting behind him after a long day of skiing. I could have shot or recorded a quick video, very easy to do. There are many, many other features, but what we wanted to share in this particular uh, platform was uh, showing you, you know, how to once again, continue to use movies, but also this is kind of cool, everyone. You can create floating content. So if I wanted to bring up, uh, a picture. I love this picture. This could be a movie. This could be uh, an image. This could be an NFT. You can literally bring up whatever you want to talk about during a conversation. So if I was explaining to everyone why Strands is one of my favorite beaches in the entire world, it's one thing for me to try to tell you that, but it's kind of like giving someone a haircut over the telephone it's impossible unless you're standing there with garrett and me with our toes in the sand but if i bring up a photo like this i think you have a pretty good idea of why you know we're both in love with this particular beach it's just gorgeous and by the way that south end down there is where you see me flying the drone at six or six thirty in the morning i'm the only one on this sand not bothering anybody and i get to fly the drone out over the point and uh there's Travis. So what's cool, Travis? Stay right there. It's good to see you. Travis is a, uh, a lawyer out of Utah, a friend of mine, and uh, he obviously doesn't take directions very well. And uh, oh, he was looking at the picture. <laughs> but what but what I wanted him to, to show everyone, in fact, maybe I can zoom over, is you'll see Travis has his video his, playing. Mm -hmm. So Spatial allows you to display a live video feed above your avatar if you want to. And if Travis didn't want to display this, <laughs> Hello, right on, bro. That's awesome. You, you can click the uh, buttons down at the left bottom of your screen to turn your camera on and off, Take okay, that. and also to mute yourself if you want to. So, <laughs> hey, what I'm going to do is let's go down the steps out to the snow real quick, Garrett. Also, I'll say that's cool that Travis has is he did the, uh, the face feature where you can do your face scan, upload an image, and your character will look like you. There you go. Very, very cool. So as you can see, you can bounce around outside, upside, or any place in between. 
I think maybe what we need to do next, Garrett, is why don't we head over to the Jackson and Wilson conference room? What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good plan. And okay. also, hello, Morris. <laughs> is is Mo here? Let's see. There he is. Hey, Mo, it's good to see you. <laughs> Mo is uh, one of my favorite lawyers out of Alabama and uh, also the father of a future Hall of Famer in all three sports. I can't, <laughs> wait, to, can't wait to see what your son does. I love does. the highlights. Uh, it's just, does it remind you of anyone, Gary? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The golden yeah. days. <laughs> yes, the golden days. It brings back so many memories because that used to drive Garrett crazy when I post all of his sports videos and photographs. But you know what? Maybe if he didn't score so many goals or mm. so many touchdowns or jump so far in the triple jump, I wouldn't have shared them on social media. <laughs> See, I'm doing it right now. All right. Let's show everybody how easy it is to create a portal on the fly. So, for example, if I wanted to bring... Uh, you into our conference room for a private co conversation, okay? Mm -hmm. And I haven't planned it ahead of time. What we can do is I simply click add portal down at the bottom. If I have the link, I can put the link in, but I already know that the space is here. I go to my spaces. I scroll down to the different spaces that we've either created or that we've been to. I click the Jackson and Wilson portal for our conference room. And here we go. Just like that. I will say something you kind of like went by pretty quickly there is what's cool about portals is that at the end of the it's day, it's here. just a hyperlink. So you really can make it go to any website and location you want on top of also having it go to a space. We're going to Absolutely. It right. And members, so while Garrett's joining, what I'm going to do is just do a quick 360 and show and everyone. Is this is a template. Than it is today. A template conference room provided by spatial America, is the audio playing on your end big corporations uh, are making uh, hear it. And too often, you mean the audio within the conference room more than people the, the video in is America, playing in your space factory worker for the live stream the as a result well, of let's uh, like fix that them. how's that there you go all right Boom. and um let me 360 the room just so everyone could kind of take a look at it but this is a template so when you create your free uh, spatial account. It may be a plus feature. I'm not sure, but we're talking 25 bucks a month, something like that for a basic account. Uh, if you, if you opt up from the free, you can click a button and create this space. Okay. There's multiple conference rooms, multiple venues that you can put together. What we've done and what Garrett's helped me with is we've customized this with you know, our law firm information, the QR codes that Garrett mentioned earlier, uh, the superstar of the firm. I think we need to pan up. <laughs> Check this out. Lisa. See if I can figure this out. There we go. Hey, Lisa. And uh, as you can see, we have QR codes throughout the, uh, the conference room. We can take these down. We can move them around depending on who we're meeting with. We can click the view. And if I click let's go it'll take us to the law firm website contact page people can take a picture of this if they want to i think this is just like the perfect template space to really demonstrate the functionality that you can have in spatial because just a conference room itself you can meet here you can talk to people and then right here we have the live video that we covered you can have uh, presentations go up on there, live presentations, PowerPoints. To the right and left, we have our contact with the QR codes to make it easy for guests. So, so you have a client during the office hours and you're meeting in this space and then they go, how can I connect with you? Well, scan this QR code or click the link next to it. Boom. It reduces friction. It makes things quick and easy. And it adds a little bit of fun just being in these spaces on top of it. Absolutely. 100%. And, um, that's what that's what this is all about. This is um, this is the spatial metaverse. It's easy. It's fun. It's different. It's unique. One thing I've always pointed out, and Garrett's heard me say this over and over, is I think the key to connecting in today's digital world is being unique and different. It's 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 creating a memorable experience. It's providing uh, an exemplary client experience, something that they'll tell other people about, and. By, by using some of the different venues that we've just shared with you today, I think, Garrett, it allows people to stand out above, above the noise, right? It allows you to interact and engage with people in a different way. And uh, if you've got your headset on, Oculus Quest 2, 
I mean, it feels like we're in the same room. Yeah. You know, having a conversation or uh, examining evidence in a case, picking up 3D objects and rotating them 360 degrees and handing them to each other. It's really amazing. Um, and so it's hard to put a qual or quantitative quality on that immersive experience, you know. It really is. Uh, but it's pretty darn cool, that's for sure. Let me, um, let me bounce over to a link. This is our Jackson and Wilson I don't know if that opened up. Did it open up? No, it'll open in a different tab. Yeah, it opened up for the live. So the, well, and so let's talk about that for a second. So you can set these links up so when they open, they'll either open up in the same tab or window that you're in, or the way we've got things set up is they open in a different tab, right? So it doesn't interfere with what we're talking about. So everything here is is adjustable. Everything here can be played around with. Um yeah, this is just so cool, Garrett. I'm so glad that we got to put a few minutes aside. I'm going to come over and sit next to you. Okay. Here we go. A few minutes aside and uh, and explore the space together, definitely. Yeah, I think it was a good experience. I think I'm glad we got to cover a lot of the different functionalities of the space. And even then, there's so much more that can be done. Absolutely. And, and one of the things that we're doing is... With Maneuver, we're trying to make this as, as easy for people to start utilizing the metaverse as it is to walk into a room and flip the light switch and turn the lights on. You don't, we don't want you to worry about coding. We don't want you to worry about what platforms you should be looking at. We just want to provide turnkey solutions. And what Garrett and I have done is we've come up with an easy three-step plan to help you figure all this out. We meet for 30 minutes, you meet with Garrett, with me or both of us, and we go through the available platforms, what technology you want to think about, phones, laptops, headsets, whatever it may be. Um, we recommend based upon your needs, what metaverse platforms you should be looking at to help uh, amplify your brand. And then we take you by the hand and, and share with you what the next three, four or five steps can be, depending on uh, what you need done, depending on your budget and everything else in between. If you want those those three steps, if you want to check them out, just go over to MitchJackson.com forward slash steps. That's MitchJackson.com forward slash steps. Garrett and I are just winging it today. We could have easily put that link up in this room if we were planning on directing everybody over there, which we weren't. But I just want people to know you can you can help people on their journey by sharing images, links, or through your audible communications. And Garrett will tell you one of the things I'm most excited about with the metaverse is the power of communication. You're listening to what we're saying. If, if I had my Oculus on right now, you'd see my hand movements. You'd mm. see me moving around the room, right? You can't see that because I'm on my desktop, but how we speak, uh, the metaphors and storytelling techniques that we use and recommend uh, voice inflection, all of the above, anchor points in the room, moving around the room while we're speaking, right? These are all things that help build rapport and help connect you with your clients. And so these are also things that Maneuver will bring to the table, whether you want to improve on your skills as an avatar in the metaverse, or you want your team to improve upon its communication and persuasion skills. These are all other things that uh, I'm excited to bring to the table. Yeah, what I we, think I mean, a lot of people are already excited to use the space. I can't imagine when they realize there's a way to effectively use the space. Which, which is the whole point, right? Mm -hmm. It's like we want to make sure, because we're both super busy, we want to make sure that we're not wasting anybody's time and that you get in here just like I got in early on social media. Get into the metaverse now, start building your brand. And when you look back in five or 10 years, you're going to look at this as probably being one of the best decisions in business that you've made uh, in building a community that you've made and in, in amplifying your brand that you've made. So, Garrett, let's do this, my friend. I do have to wrap up and get ready for a, uh, a court hearing via Zoom. I wish it was in the metaverse. <laughs> It'd be a lot, much, a lot more fun. But I think um, I want to sign off. And uh, if anybody wants to connect with you, I'm guessing probably LinkedIn's the best place to do that. Yeah, LinkedIn's great. Okay, what we'll do is Garrett and I will each share our LinkedIn profile links in the comments 
to this recorded video on all the platforms. Once again, we went live on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, a couple of Facebook pages and groups, and I think over on Amazon Live also. So if you want to stay connected with Garrett, if you want to stay connected with me, and we haven't had the pleasure of meeting before, uh, please do so on LinkedIn using the link. And uh, I'll tell you what, I think between now and the next time we go live, and I hope we do this again. You know, what I want to do, Garrett, is I want to profile mm -hmm. other people's spaces. I want to profile some of the different companies and, and go through their websites that I mentioned. That would be, 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 I mean, they're doing some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, because there's a lot of people who are operating in this space right now, and we're all early, and I think there's so much to learn from each other. There you go. So maybe we can pop in once or twice a week, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and just have fun. I'm thinking we'll share uh, those shows. Most of them will be last minute. But we'll share them on our LinkedIn feeds, maybe our mm -hmm. Twitter feed. People know yep. how to connect with us. Okay, cool. All right. Well, listen, everyone, we are going to end the broadcast. My name is Mitch Jackson. My co-founder of Maneuver, uh, Garrett Jackson, uh, was kind enough to join us today. I know he's got a busy weekend, so I want him to get some rest between now and then. And we'll circle back uh, next week uh, and maybe profile either M2 Studio, Exclusible, uh, polycount.io, or maybe a Journey, J-O-U-R-N-E-E. -E. Sounds good? Sounds great. All right. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Enjoy the journey in real life and in the metaverse in between now and next time. Make each day your masterpiece. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks, everyone.